Hi everyone, it's Curtis here. In this on the back wheel video, I have some sad news for dual sport and lightweight adventure riders. Yamaha has announced that the WR250R is being discontinued in both Europe and the USA. Now, there have been rumors for a couple of years now that the 250R was going to be canceled and it's finally happened. Yamaha did it kind of subtly too. They didn't announce it, but just stuck these two small paragraphs at the end of their 2021 model press conference. It states, with deep consideration of evolving global market trends and regulations that limit production volumes on certain models, the following Yamaha models will be discontinued after model year 2020. YZF-R6, VMAX, WR250R and S-Max. Yamaha understands the iconic history of these models. Regarding the future, Yamaha is continuously looking at new ideas and concepts to support and expand the market as well as enhance our customers' experiences. So if you want a WR250R, you're gonna to have to try and snap one up now or go and grab a secondhand model. Now, I was initially pretty shocked that the WR250R was being canceled. In adventure bike circles and on forums, I've always thought it was really popular. It's got a very good reputation, even though it's a little bit overpriced, I think. Evidently, it's not popular enough. Thinking about it though, I don't think I've ever seen one out in the trails or on the road. Whereas I've seen plenty of its competition in the CRF 250L and KLX 250S around. In my last video, I talked about the Honda CRF 300L being released in Thailand. And it seems extremely likely that Kawasaki are soon going to announce their KLX 300S. Without the WR250R, Honda and Kawasaki are going to have free reign of this class now. So why was it cancelled? As I mentioned before, sales just mustn't have been high enough. And I think combined with the new Euro 5 laws coming into effect soon, it probably wasn't worth it for Yamaha to make the WR250R compliant. Looking through Yamaha's lineup, I can't see a road bike motor that would just slot in either. So if they were to try and make the 250R Euro 5 compliant, they may have to do a massive redesign of the engine or make a completely new engine altogether. And I don't think either of these are gonna to happen to be honest. Yamaha hasn't announced the replacement and reading more from their press release, it appears that they are definitely going to concentrate more on the adventure bike market. Interestingly, Yamaha are continuing to sell the old school XT250 and the hilarious TW200, but I can't see either of them lasting much longer either. My bet, after the screaming success of the Tenere 700, Yamaha are going to use the YZF R3 motor and make a Tenere 300. So, if you want a reliable, small dual sport, sorry Yamaha fans, you're gonna to have to look elsewhere. All right guys, if you liked the video, hit that like button, subscribe. I'll catch you later.